Yo, what is going on YouTube as well? I'm the Mech Character, and hey guys, today we have episode number 17 of Doki Doki Literature Club. And after the game crashed, um, there was about two or three more minutes of dialogue. Um, unfortunately, that didn't get recorded because the game crashed. But essentially, Monica told us to advance in the game, we could either sit there with her forever. And just stare at her. Or we could, as you see, the files are open. Apparently we need to go to characters. And just... Do this. Now I'm just going to minimize. Minimize this. What do I have in my recycling bin? I have two items. What do I have in here? Hold on. I know this is really off topic, but this is concerning. Oh. Failed to report. Alright. Doki Doki Literature Club. Let's open up and see what happens. And let's watch OBS Crash. Because it's opening a game. Play the game will open any second now. There's the game. I think the game crashed. Yep, OBS is continuing to crash. But nope, it's still there. It's still trying. Oh, okay. What's happening? Mega, what's happening to me? It hurts. She's gone. It hurts so much. Help me, Mega. And it's not recording any of this, is it? Yep, it's frozen back here. Fantastic. Love you, OB OBS. Please hurry and help me. Monica does not exist. HELP ME! She doesn't exist. Did you do this to me, Mega? Did you? Did you delete me? How could you? How could you do this to me? You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much, Mega. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Were you only pretending to be kind? Just so it hurt even more. I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You ain't okay. You literally kill it's you literally killed three of your only friends in this game, and you were self aware you were in a game. You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. That's it. Mega. Oh, really quickly, breaking the immersion and the intensity of this situation. Um, just to make sure I didn't miss anything too relatively important, uh, because I had to go replay through that last little part because the game crashed. Like, part of... Apparently there was a line we didn't get before for some reason. I don't know why, but literally she was, like, she somehow knew my real name. I don't know if it read my Steam or my Vast. Can you fuck off? She, like, read my Steam. It was creepy. It was creepy. Mega. You completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. Is that it?
Are we done? Is the horror over? Are we... Are we good? Okay, you still... I still love you. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? <laughs> How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? All my friends, I did so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. I'm assuming this is still Monica. Even though we deleted her, which is kind of weird. I... I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world I don't even belong in. A world where you wanted to be part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... Okay, hello. Uh, I've made up my mind. Mega. I know I said I deleted everyone else, but that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it in myself to do it, even though I knew they were queer. They were still my friends, and I love them all. And I love the Literature Club. I really did love the Literature Club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really loved you... Then... What'd you do? They're all back, but she's gone. Do I have to keep playing? <laughs> uh, is that the end? I hope that- But there was no end screen. I guess we're still playing. It's an ordinary school day like any other. Uh, I'm just freaked out now. As usual, I'm surrounded by couples and friends groups and friend groups walking to school together. Ooh. I always tell myself it's about time I made some girls or something like that. Hey oh my god, I haven't done her voice in so long. What was your voice, sweetie? Oh my it's so good. Hey, Mega. Well, there's a, there is one, already one girl. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. We used to walk to school together every day. And recently, we picked up that habit once again. It doesn't say she's annoying. It always said she was annoying. Mega, are you proud of me? Yeah, for what? You know, for waking up on time. Well, you've been doing that for a while now. Uh-huh. But you never even said anything about it. Even though we walk to school together every day. Well, yeah. I always thought it was implied. It's embarrassing to say out loud. Come on, please. It's good motivation. Fine, fine. I'm proud of you, Sayori. Yay. <laughs> that This is weird. This is Something's gonna happen. There's no way Monica's gonna let us live happily ever after without her. We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the street becomes increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. <sighs> Why am I yawning? By the way, Mega, have you decided on a club to join? Oh, no. A club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm really not serious at what I always do, that I'm not interested in joining any clubs. Something tells me Sayori wants me to take more off than Something tells me Sayori would take more offense to that now. After all, how could I tell her that clubs are a waste of time? And she's starting a club of her very own. Actually, yeah. I think I've decided on a club. Really? Which one? Tell me. Hmm. 
I think I'll keep it a surprise. Boo! You meanie! Be, be patient, you'll find out soon enough. I used to ask myself why I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl. I started to realize that in a way, I envy her. But say you put your mind to something, she can accomplish great things. That's what I feel like. Fuck! That's why I feel like I should be doing something special for her. The school day is ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stand up, gathering my motivation. Let's see. I recall the rude number of club from a flyer I saw. I walk across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. For long, I find the room door. No, no, no. I timidly open the door in front of me. Hello? Ah, uh, Mega? What, what are you doing here? Well, I just... Yeah, I glance around the room. Oh, no. Also, apparently we missed an ending with Natsuki, someone was telling me. When I told them, like I was talking to one of my buddies, I was like, yeah, I did this, but all I saw Natsuki do was barf. Apparently there is a Natsuki ending, and I just missed it, so. Huh? So you're the Mega the Sayori's always talking about. Thank you for stopping by. So are you... Are you still, um... Messed up on your arm in this version of the game, Yuri, or...? It's a pleasure to meet you, Mega. With the Literature Club. I, I hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. He's gonna think we're really strict or something. Ah. Uh, sorry, Natsuki. The tall one, whose name is apparently Yuri, seems to be quiet. Quite shy compared to the others. Compared to the girl named Natsuki, despite her size, seems like the assertive one. Well, it's nice to meet both of you. I look forward to working with you. Working? Mega, don't tell me. You're. That's right. The club I've decided to join is yours, Sayori. The literature club. No. <laughs> and this is where Monica goes Terminator mode, even though she. She's deleted, so could she go Terminator mode? I don't know. Sayori's eyes light up. No way! No way! Ah! Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! <laughs> well, if Sayori is this happy, then I'm sure it won't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention, there's four of us now. That means we could become an officially recognized club. I don't know what to say! We have to celebrate! Huh? What an appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah! After all, Natsuki decided to- Hey, don't ruin the surprise! <laughs> sorry. Everyone sit down at the table, okay? How about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. So feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Sounds like a Yoshi noise. Wah. Yoshi! Natsuki lets a foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whistle screws are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! Wow, these look amazing. Yeah, well, you know. Just hurry up and take one. Sayori grabs one first and then I follow. It's delicious! Sayori talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers looking for the best angle. <sighs> looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. She's still waiting for me to take a bite. I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. Are we just... So do we still actually play through the game, or is there something that's gonna happen? Like, I'm, I'm confused right now. <laughs> this is really good. Oh, wait. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Well, well, of course it is. I'm a pro after all. There's no need to thank me or anything. As Natsuki struggles to accept the compliment, Yuri reaches, turns to the table carrying a tea set. 
give me a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot. Next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry. The teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I guess. <laughs> Are we trying to impress our new member, Yuri? Yeah, that's... that's not... Insulted Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in release. So, Mega, what kind of things do you like to read? And this is where we say, this is weird. This is weird, and I don't like it. And there's a chair in the closet. Well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. I muttered to myself, quietly, half choking. Natsuki's head suddenly broke up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. N not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What if I say? The same thing I've said three times now. I spoke it without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. You know what's really crazy? Shout out to whoever made this game. Because I'm freaked the fuck out and there's like six frames to this game. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Here he goes on clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up, she finds comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Don't feel intimidated if you don't read much, okay? I'm certain we can find something we have in common. That's new. Hey, Yuri. Eh? Well, about... You know the first thing he said? Manga? Manga? That's right. Natsuki tends to read manga in the club room. D don't just say it! For some reason, Natsuki seems embarrassed about it. Besides, manga is literature too, you know. So if Mega wants to read some of my manga, then don't try to stop him or anything. Natsuki... I wouldn't do such a thing. However, it could also be nice for us to diversify ourselves a little bit. He can take this opportunity to try something new as well. Wouldn't you agree, Mega? M maybe Sensing the tension, Sayori jumps in. Maybe we can all try something new. I think it could be fun, and we'll get to know each other a little bit better too. I mean, that's the kind of li thing literature clubs do, right? I don't disagree or anything. Yeah, you're right as usual, President. Uh... <laughs> Guess that means I should try picking up a novel or something, huh? Well, that would make two of us. I wouldn't mind doing it if I'm not the only one. Then as for Yuri... Eh? Uh, I have to read manga? Jeez. You were, <laughs> you were the one suggesting we diversify. You should be a little more open-minded. It's kind of hurtful. Hurtful? I didn't realize. With a guilty expression, Yuri thinks to herself, I'm sorry for disrespecting your interest, Natsuki. If you're into it, then I'm sure it's a worthy form of literature. Are you just saying that? No. I've realized my error. So if you're willing to consider starting a novel, then I'll offer my gratitude by finding a manga to read as well. Really? I mean, it, it makes me happy you do that, Yuri. You can trust me to find something that you'll really like, okay? Same here. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after the club meeting. J just you? Ah. Uh, would you like to come along with me? Um, if you don't mind. Not at all. I always go alone, so... Yeah, me too. This is so cute! Sayori, shut up. <laughs> That's kind of rude. I'll show you some of the manga there too, okay? Yes, I look forward to it. Natsuki and Yuri start to clean up their food. <laughs> well, you know what? Sayori said the meeting's over. This episode is going to be over right here, and we'll pick it up tomorrow 
with the next episode. So if you guys are enjoying, hit that like button down below. Apparently we're in a Deja Vu universe, and maybe we'll get to actually date one of these girls. Who knows? It'll be weird. Anyway, this is the Mid Captain signing out.